But what's good right now? You're watching J Times TV 2011. Brand new tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on tracking out your beats from FL Studio to Pro Tools. Well, let's get straight into it. Alright, so we got to play this right here. We got a little beat put together. Nothing serious. Uh, we got a mixer. Got a multi band compressor on the master. And we have all different inserts. Now, basically, what tracking out is in your sequencer, every single different sound in your playlist, when you track it out in Pro Tools, it's going to have its own track. Basically, it means you can mix everything a lot better. It's a professional way of creating music with the industry standard Pro Tools. So, let's get started. Alright. So as I play this, you hear I got this multi-band compressor effect on here. It's like you in the, it's a club type of thing, like you in the club, you hear the music outside. To a mixer, we got a VST right here. What we're gonna do is that um, we we'll go to insert number one. On your keyboard is a key that says Control. Okay, you're gonna press the key, Control, and letting the letter L at the same time. That's gonna put it. That's a shortcut to put it inside the mixer. Then we're gonna go. Take this off of here. All right. Kick. Same process. Control L. Clap. You can do this throughout every single different sound you have. Control L. Take it away. Ah, right, cool. So now each one of these is on a track. Now we have every single different sound, VSTs, kicks, claps, hi-hats, and everything. We have it on a different channel, different insert on the mixer. So that's step number one. Create new folder. We'll call it um Club Beat Tracked Out. Club Beat Tracked Out. Click on open. Now, club B, whatever. All right. The important part is that make sure the output format is wave. Now, these settings are up to you, but I recommend the best quality possible when you're exporting this. 64 bit sync. I mean, this is pretty good quality right here. I mean, 256 kilobytes per second. Make sure that on the options it says split mixer tracks, and you don't have to use the exercised, but it's up to you. Click on now. Another thing is that, um, see how it's on pattern? This has to be on song. See, it's on song. So, what we'll do is that we'll click on export again. Now, step number two clap join save. So now when I click on start, it's gonna it's gonna track each one is out. Each one is gonna have its own track. Bam. Alright, now we tracked it out 
we have it in the folder. We're gonna go into Pro Tools. I'm gonna go create new session. Click on import audio. All right, click on all these. Click on add files. Now click on done. Use current folder. After this is done processing, you just tracked out your beat from FL Studio to Pro Tools. It was really that easy. Bam. Now check this out. You got your whole entire beat you created and Fruity Loops in Pro Tools. Now, right here is the master. You see it says right here, Club Joint Master. So, this is what you use as a reference to make sure everything is in line like it should be. Okay, so, like, let's just say you was, you got the whole beat in there, you was about to create a new vocal track. You know you can have your vocal track right here. Then when you go back into the mixer, Pro Tools, you're going to have, as you can see, every single different sound that was from Fruity Loose when you made create the whole beat or instrumental it's right here in Pro Tools now so you can mix everything you can add the sound effects right here you know what I'm saying you can do everything right here in Pro Tools and then like when you go to save it you can save the folder and you, like you can send the whole time folder to a record label another producer engineer or anybody especially when you're producing beats like a lot of people they really want the whole time track out for Pro Tools saying they, they don't want just the beat the, the beat like because when it's already mixed I mean it's mixed and I said it can't really do much with it but from right here I could just I mean I can go into here I could just highlight things I can go to EQ you know what I'm saying I could EQ things do pretty much anything right here so thanks for watching J Times TV 2011 it's April the 17th you know new year new tutorial I'm pretty sure that's gonna help a lot of people out. I mean, this right here is one of the industry's best known secrets. I mean, a lot of people do not know how to do this, so here you go. But I hope this helped y'all, man. Stay tuned. J Talents. Soundclick.com slash J Talents. Holla at me, man. One.